guys, I'm Tina from Make It Wearables and we're doing two easy hairstyles today. But first, let me tell you guys about my experience with the hair growing supplement, Hairfinity, because I know a lot of you are trying to grow your hair and this might help. So I was sent this 30 days ago to try out and I can honestly tell you that it does work. However, first week my skin was not having it. It was just like my skin looked really congested. I knew I was going to break out and I was just waiting for it to happen. However, the second week, everything smoothed out, maybe because it also has vitamin B in it as well. And vitamin B is really good for skin. So maybe this is why I didn't break out, but I always do. I've tried every single biotin capsules in the store. I've tried taking water with biotins. I've tried taking multivitamins with biotins. I've tried, so I've tried it. It didn't work for me. So when they sent me this, I was thinking, okay, in about a week, I'm going to look like I'm 12 again with acne all over and I will just tell you guys what happened. My hair did grow a lot and stupid me, I didn't take a before picture because me being a hairstylist, I know even if it grew a lot, it's it was even if it grew a lot, it's not going to be like 5 inches. I mean, come on. Now. And one other thing, although this does work, it did grow my hair twice as fast. The hair here it's not going to be affected because this is dead. When you take something internally, your hair grows from here. So when you take vitamins for hair, it's not going to affect this part. So I do recommend that you check this out. I've tested it. And as someone who is very sensitive to biotin, I can tell you that this didn't break me out. So guys, if you've been trying to grow out your hair and you're looking to try something that will work, go check out Hairfinity. The link will be down below. So for this first hairstyle, I'm wearing my Luxury for Princess hair extensions to create thickness, but you don't need hair extensions for this hairstyle. Now part your hair in the middle, and then section out all the hair behind your ear and clip it out of the way. Now this step is completely optional, but I also like to leave out some hair at the bottom, like this, and my bangs as well, because this will just make the hairstyle more romantic. And then apply some hair wax on your hair to create texture. Now grab all the hair on that side and do a normal braid. Just make sure though that you're pulling the braid away from your face when you start braiding to prevent any weird sags at the end. Tie the braid with an elastic band. Pull out the edges to make the braid bigger and do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Next, take one of the braids and fold it over and across the top of your head like a headband. Then we're going to secure this behind the opposite ear. And do the same on the other side. Pull out the braids to make it more voluminous. Hairspray if you need to and we're done. With this last hairstyle, we're going to section out the hair from temple to temple. Then make a ponytail with the bottom half. And then with the bottom half, we're going to do a normal braid. So after tying the ends of the braid, you're going to pull out the sides to make it bigger before wrapping it around the self slowly to form a messy bun. Then undo the top to make a quick French braid. So once the French braid is big enough, or I should say wide enough, you're going to pin it at your nape first, like this. Then wrap the ends around and under the French braid. So this hairstyle will look like a French braid from the back, but as soon as you turn your head to the side, people will see that you're wearing a hidden bun. And all done. I hope you guys liked all of these easy and unique hairstyles. Let me know which hairstyle you like best from today. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and check out Hairfinity. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!